Hello friends, uh, if you ever wanted to make a bootable flash drive, USB flash drive, there are many options and you probably heard of Ventoy, which has a good and special feature which is allowing users to add many media to the same USB flash drive. For example, you can have uh, Arch Linux bootable ISO on that flash drive as well as Ubuntu and so on and so forth the options are almost unlimited as long as the capacity of the flash drive allows you to add more and more on Arch Linux you can install Ventoy from the AUR and we're gonna do it as you're gonna see there are if we look for Ventoy there are two options. The first one is Ventoy and the second is Ventoy dash bin. This time I'm going to install both of them, each with a specific method, w w which we have uh, two here. One with the AUR helper, I'm going to use yay here, and the second is manually. Uh, Let me clear out the screen. I'm gonna uh, install the one without a bin suffix using the AUR helper and the one with bin suffix with the manual way in order to see it compiling since this one sounds like it is uh, the source code and this one is simply the pre-compiled version then we're gonna make a bootable media and boot into it so yay dash uppercase s then toy i have installed yay the installation is similar to the manual one that you're gonna see shortly here press enter press enter again All right, if you continued with this method, which failed for me, as you can see here, I'm ha having some issues here with this installation. So I'm going to select yes and enter the password. Uh, I'm going to select or keep it with one. I thought that the error is going to prevent continuing with the installation. However, it sounds like it's keeping up. I don't know how y and enter here okay so running the command yay dash uppercase ventoy failed for me and my intention was to try to install it let it finish and then try to install the one with the suffix dash bin and since this one failed and go in with the second method with which was planned the to be the second one here i was gonna do it in front of you uh and it's supposed to replace the first installed package i will go and do the second one with the manual method so it should be git clone and we should take the link here go back to the terminal paste it like this all right cd ventoy bin clear out and then make pkg dash si hoping that this one works password enter y and enter okay here the password enter y and enter okay this sounds like it's successfully installed i'm gonna grab my usb flash drive so should you if you want to follow me with the steps here and you need to know that uh, all the data on that flash drive once we go to the next step is gonna be destroyed so if we t if we try to run ventoy we can see that it works clear out the screen or i mean 
it exists on the system this replaces uh, get and the archive that you used to get from their their website and uh, running the commands that I'm going to show you. You're going to have Ventoy permanently installed on your system and added to your path with this method. Of course, uh, you can run the command yay uppercase a s and then Ventoy dash bin. Since I have it installed, this is going to tell us that it's installed. Probably try to reinstall it if you wanted to and I've gone with the method the manual method alright so it says that this piece of software is uh, up to date which means that it is installed I don't need to install it for you if you have chosen to go with the AUR helper you tried like me the, van uh, the package with the name Ventoy only and failed for you then tried with uh, and then wanted to try with the uh, AUR helper to install the package Ventoy dash bin you simply press Y here and enter for me I don't need to so I'm gonna select N alright so I took my USB flash drive I'm gonna plug it in okay clear the screen ls usb uh, should be this one i had sand disk ultra f ultra flare clear uh, ls b l k okay so the command should be ventoy Okay, so we should go Ventoy dash I slash dev slash SDB. Make sure you select the right letter. In my case, it's slash dev slash SDB. I can know it from this. Here I have a bootable media on which I have flashed uh, Arch Linux uh, ISO and I can know it from the size for you make sure you select the correct one otherwise it may cause your uh, system may cause your system to be erased let's go with this enter all right it needs root privileges ventoy dash i slash dev slash sdb okay so it's asking for the confirmation here press y here it gives you the data of your usb flash drive i'm gonna select y and enter here it tell, tells you here that you will install ventoy to slash dev slash sdb in my case it's the one in your case it may be something different it can it can be slash dev slash sdc it can be a uh, hard drive it can be uh, an NVMe uh, portable SSD in such case the letters will be more and more different than this so make sure you select the correct one press Y then enter this is a double check Y again and enter LS BLK to see what we have uh, while it was installing as you've seen it has chosen the MBR uh, partition type which means it will work on BIOS and compatible ones because sometimes the GPT and UEFI have compatibility mode where you can uh, have uh, MBR working on them so if you want your Ventoy to be uh, GPT only select dash g here slash dev slash sdb password since uh, we are running this with root privileges enter uh, let's select i 
yes let's select upgrade you yes this is also a good opportunity for us to try the dash u option which upgrades your ventoy in case you got a newer one enter after y okay this is in case uh, you want to upgrade in case you want to force the installation you should select here dash uppercase i okay and then y here enter y again i'm not gonna do this since i'm all right with mbr in your case you need to select y again and it's gonna keep up with the installation of ventoy on your usb flash drive i'm gonna press n and enter here and it's back all right i have prepared a bunch of files and i wanted to show you how it would look like when you plug in your ventoy and your Ventoy USB flash drive and Ventoy is installed on it it would look like something like this uh, you open it like this yes it's not let's unplug then plug back in like this plug it back in every time you plug it in and your uh, Linux system has auto FS if I'm not mistaken package it should plug it plug the partition where you can uh, drop all your iso files automatically let's see if we can plug it in yes so you can plug it in by selecting it from your file explore explorer and it should also appear on your windows and you select the bigger uh, partition if both appeared for you since it has mostly two partitions one for the files of ventoy and one for the media where that you would like to have uh, booting to so i have prepared a bunch of files on my home folder in ventoy like this Okay, we need to change the owner here, sudo user, in my case the user name is user, in your case it can be something else, okay, now let's see, Okay, this sounds like it doesn't allow me to have the files copied due to some privilege privileges issue. So let me exit out of here and then run it as root sudo nemo. And we have here Ventoy open in a new, in a new tab uh, file system. We have our files within Ventoy directory. I'm gonna move them since I. That's what the option that I would like to have. Paste, paste them there. In your case, you can copy and paste. You can add, uh, copy and paste the newly downloaded files. You can go to whichever website from which you want to have some bootable media. Take them and then drop them in your partition of your Ventoy uh, USB thumb drive uh, my uh, flash on which I have prepared Ventoy and the bootable media which is not much is ready all we have to do now is to boot into it and we're gonna see how it would look like maybe some of the media is missing I don't have here uh, Ubuntu I'm gonna uh, put it also here then we're gonna boot into this newly created media after uh, we made 
the USB uh, flash drive bootable using Ventoy you take it as you can see and plug it into the target computer where you want to install or boot your media up fire up the computer press the button that takes you to the boot menu in my case it's F12 you may need to press it more than once like me if you are so skeptical in my boot menu you can see that the flash drive appeared that's SanDisk you select whichever operating system you want here in my case I have Ubuntu 22.04 I have selected it as you see boot in normal mode enter for the selection wait some time for it to boot up enter here it's uh, selecting try or install Ubuntu As you can see, uh, we're booted into Ubuntu's live media that exists on the USB flash drive that runs Ventoy. That was how you make a bootable media with Ventoy and boot into it on Arch Linux. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment and see you in another video.